Hi guys, it's Ruby from Oofy Scraps back with another 12 by 12 process video. Today I'm actually breaking into my Bali scrapbook photos. I went and visited there in the summer of 2018 and finally got around to ordering my photos. I ended up ordering 130. So I've got a lot of layouts coming up. Um, and not that I needed to start another scrapbook, I've already got four going, but it's always exciting to have something new to work on. So I wasn't sure how I wanted to make this page when it came to the layout. So I looked at Pinterest for a few ideas and inspiration. And I'll link below the spread that I was sort of inspired by. I meant to follow it a little more closely, but once I got started, I kind of just took off and it ended up looking pretty different. But I'll still show you guys a spread in a link below in case you're interested or need some inspiration. I find a lot of really good scrapbook inspiration on Pinterest. Um, I also watch a lot of YouTubers, but that's more for like specific techniques rather than like a layout design. I'm more of a, when it comes to like trying to get inspiration in the moment, I'd rather look at a picture than watch a whole video. Um, but I definitely do get some tricks from YouTube videos and I actually use some in this video, which I'll point out later on. But yeah, so I went for this blue stripe background and then kind of wanted to do a mostly like this aqua blue color with black because I'm on a black sand beach in the bottom left photo and then the top right I'm wearing my blue helmet. I also apologize my dog is crying in the background. I hope you guys can't hear that but you might. He's a big dog so he's got a big cry. Um, but anyways I'm doing the black color because it's also in the asphalt of the street we're riding on. We're riding on a little um, scooter, electric scooter. Um, so yeah, I did this kind of like diagonal setup and I had to recut my paper here because it was a little too thin. But yeah, so I fussed around trying to get the papers the right um, sizes and then go with this kind of diagonal print. And I wanted to do like color somehow, but I also wanted to stay true to the like colors of the photos because there's no other color really besides black and blue. Um, but I ended up deciding that this kind of stripey, multicolored print paper worked by adding a little bit of color, but not really crazy and not taking away from like the strong blue influence. So I ended up adding that and I think it was a fun little touch. So now I'm still messing with the layout trying to get them all lined up right. It's something I think it's kind of silly. I realize that I do is I work so hard to get them all laid out perfectly when it comes to like my layers and my mats and then I pick it up and stick it all down. So like it ends up getting bumped and I have to reposition it anyways. But I guess I'm just checking visually to see if I like the way it would look before I pick it up to stick it down, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyways, I also apologize if the lighting is a little bit dark in this photo. It is nighttime when I made this page. So, yeah, I found that the best light is morning light for me in the room that I scrapbook. Um, so I'm gonna try and do some more video recording that time. Um, but yeah, I have an overhead lamp, but it has a warm light bulb in it. So I'm gonna see if I can switch it out for a more white light bulb because that coupled with the wood in my desk makes for pretty orangey lighting sometimes. Um, but that's okay. And then I'm picking through a few little um, ephemera embellishment pieces that I thought I might use. I have this card or this tag that's black. Um, so I thought that might look good. And then I had this one that has an ampersand on it. I don't end up using that one. But anyways, so now I'm committing, gluing down with my, my trusty glue stick, my purple disappearing ink. I think they're like marketed as like a magic glue stick because it goes purple and then it dries clear. I remember having those as a kid, but they still work, still sticks. And then I go in with some of that super strong American Crafts double-sided tape to tape it down so that it's pretty secure. And again, I always try and just put adhesive on the very middle center of the pictures. And on, on these, I'm, I'm putting them on the top right corners because I'm just trying to get it to attach to the backing paper, not the not the background paper, um, if that makes sense. But for the final, the full three layers, I do the 
double sided tape because it's really strong and I only put it in the middle so that I'm able to tuck things behind it really easily. And I also just used the tape but I didn't take the backing off of the adhesive so it's not like stuck. Um, and I'm just using washi tape to extra secure things down. <laughs> And yeah, so I put the tape on, the double-sided tape on, but I don't peel off the adhesive backing um, so that I'm able to still move it around a little bit. But then when I'm ready, it's already taped, I guess. I don't know if that's really much of a tip, but that's what I did here. I've also been cutting through that adhesive tape, and then I've also been cutting through um, the leftovers of my foam pop dots with my scissors, and they're so covered in sticky gunk that I can't cut through paper with them anymore. So I need to go through and clean them. Um, maybe with some goo gone, but I ended up having to pull out some little other scissors I have to try and um, cut paper without ripping it and sticking it all over the place. So this is where I was talking about that tip I got on from a YouTube video. Um, I've recently subscribed and fallen in love with Adele from Ingie Quill. Her videos are really fun. She's got a great personality. I really like her style. She has something, she does a lot of really different work with like mixed media and things. Um, but she uses a lot of tissue paper, which isn't like the craziest idea. But she does this thing where she puts a piece of double sided tape. And you'll see I do it right now, or I attempt to do it. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, and then she like crinkles up the tissue paper and sticks it along the double sided tape to create this kind of ruffle border at the bottom of a, a layout or spread or whatever. And I think it's really, really cute. It's a good way to add texture, but it's not super bulky, so you could do that in your books and it wouldn't, you know, add too much extra thickness. So yeah, so I peeled off the double-sided tape and then you just kind of, I mean, I was making this up as I went, but you just kind of scrunch it and like fold it over itself, kind of a little bit of an accordion, but a very effortless, not organized accordion. Um, and yeah, I ended up having way too much tissue like wide so I cut it down but it's just this white tissue paper with kind of like a metallic confetti on it see that's where I realized my stick my scissors were too sticky to cut through the paper um so I use my tiny little I have these like mini American crafts or we are memory keepers I think scissors they came with my paper trimmer um but yeah so I thought that was super cute I thought it was a fun touch and I had been meaning to do it but I kept forgetting. So today I was like, this is the one. I've got white tissue with a little bit of color, so it'll match really well. And then I did it again here. And I trimmed this down a little because I ended up having too much width on the first one. So I trimmed this down the second time around, and I think it came out really cute. She also uses tissue paper, Adele does, in her um, videos. She uses them as mats like to mat her photos and stuff, which I think is cute. I've seen other people do that, but this I thought was pretty unique, at least to me. Maybe everyone has done this and I'm just late to the game, but I thought it was pretty fun. It kind of looks like a little skirt, like the bottom of a skirt or a dress. Um, but yeah, so just trimming it down and I think it looks cute. Um, See, so I played with texture here because I wasn't going to be using too many colors, so I didn't end up using too much um, paper, but also, my speed when I fast forward my videos, like it randomly gets glitchy sometimes. But anyway, so yeah, I incorporated the tissue and then I also used another one of my little paper doilies, which I thought was cute. And again, it was starting to get a little bit too symmetrical, you know, both pages looking the same. So I wanted to put my doilies in different places on the picture. And then once I go into the more like serious embellishing, I kind of abandon the symmetrical aspect, which is good. I don't really like when things are super symmetrical, as I've said before. But I ended up really liking this page. I was kind of not in a rut, but in the habit of doing a similar layout. Not to this, but before I was doing similar layouts um, because I found a layout that I really like, but I don't want all my pages to look the same. So I was trying to which is why I went to Pinterest. I was trying to find something a little bit different and I think I was successful. I would do this again and it wasn't too difficult and because you're offsetting the paper so much, it ends up taking up a decent amount of space on the page, which makes it quicker to cover the page. So you get done faster, which is cool. Then again, I'm struggling with my 
sticker or stickers, my sticky scissors. Um, and then I decide to pop up a little bit of foam onto that um, heart tag. And I remember getting this and thinking, ah, oh, it's really cute, but when am I going to use a black tag? I use like mostly light and bright colors, but here I am using it. I think it looks pretty cute. And I also have been trying to avoid gold, not because I don't like it, but because I have some silver letter stickers I really like. I end up doing predominantly gold embellishing, and then my silver letter stickers don't match well. I don't mind mixing gold and silver, but it needs to look intentional, not like an afterthought, so I have to incorporate silver elsewhere, and most of my embellishments are gold. But here I am using a gold heart tag, so that kind of failed. And then I was trying to attach some of this um, aqua chenille ribbon, but I cut too short of a piece. And I'm sad. I've had this for so long. I got it for 99 cents a Tuesday morning, and I'm finally starting to run out of it. But it's my favorite. It's American Crafts ribbon, so I'm going to have to see if I can find something similar or maybe even the same thing. I don't know. And then before I started the video, I took this iridescent thread that I have. I took it out of my mom's sewing kit years ago and it's just iridescent thread and I just pull a ton off of it and then kind of create a bundle and I tape the bottom of the bundle together with washi tape and it creates these cute little um, pops of three-dimensional glittery goodness and I don't know if you, it's hard to see kind of on the video but it's really cute. And it's very like delicate and fun. So I made some bundles to attach here. And then I'm using this to the right. You can see I have this chipboard sticker pack. It's like a 12 by 12 one. And it's very summery themed. So I pulled that out. And then I have this little sticker that says, let's ride into the sunset, which was appropriate for my scooter picture. Um, and it had a little black frame around it but the frame fit perfectly around it and I wanted it to look like it was sitting in a separate frame. So I, you can't see it because it's off camera, but I'm sticking some foam around the edges of that frame to have it be a little bit more dimensional off of that. So it's kind of like a shadow boxy effect, I guess. You'll see when I stick it down, here we go. I think you can tell, maybe you can't tell, but it's a little higher off the page than the center sticker is. So I thought that was cute. And then I'm adding some more of my little iridescent thread bits and it's kind of finicky to make those little bundles but that's why I did it before but I still ended up fussing with it a bit when I was trying to use it um, but yeah I think they add a really fun little touch something different to the page and then I'm looking at more stickers from here. This one says sun and fun and it has like an aqua polka dot border. And then one other one. This one says, I don't know what it says. Love? Sun and sand maybe? I could be making that up. Maybe it does say that. I don't know. And there's this like little plus sign, a black plus sign, but I end up adding that on a little bit later. And then here I go with some washi tape. I have this set of black, kind of like chalkboard looking washi tape. And I thought it was super cute. And I also got a chalkboard paper pad, but I don't really use them. I've never used this washi tape until now. Um, but I use it here and I think it looks really cute. So I'm kind of glad I did this black embellishing on this page. Because it gave me the opportunity to use a lot of my stash that I didn't know how to use before. So yeah, this is, it's like black with little white chalk looking hearts on it. And I layered that on top of some ombre blue polka dot washi tape. And I like that that blue washi tape is pretty thick. And then the black is a kind of a more generic width. I like having different widths of washi tape. I think it adds a lot of interest to the pages. So I pulled out some letter stickers because I was trying to figure out a title. And I didn't know if I wanted to put like the first word in the title on the top left and the second in the bottom right. If I wanted to put them both in the top or both in the bottom, I kind of wasn't sure. But I end up doing the title last. And I think it ends up on the top left. Um, and then I have this 6 by 12. Is it 6 by 12? 
um, anyway, a sticker sheet, and there's more summery themed things. So I put some little teal flip flops up there. And what else do I grab from here? Oh, a little aqua shell. And they have like little metallic aspects on some of those stickers, which I thought was cute. And there was a pair of sunglasses I really wanted to include, but I wasn't wearing sunglasses in the picture. I didn't really need the extra space, so I just went without it. And that sticker says sun and sand, so I don't know what that gold chipboard thing says. The screen that I watch when I'm doing my voiceover is very small, so I can't see very well all those tiny little words, but it's not that important. And if you guys can read it, then you can answer your own question. Then that was a really cute, um, like, metallic gold metallic it's or it is metallic it's like a foil but it was black and it said something beachy ish i'm assuming again i can't read it um maybe like amazing moment or something like that magical moment i think it says and then i'm adding some black little words stickers here you know one says like best day and remember this or something. I don't know. They all kind of have similar sentiments, but just add a few of those on the page. Yeah, I mean, those colors of the background paper that I use, you can barely see them, but they're just a little bit of a break from the black, white, and blue, and I think it ends up being really nice. Then I added some gold foil heart stickers. There's a huge glare on that one picture. I apologize about that. Oh, and then I have these little Lily Swap um, embellishments. They're like little like banners, kind of. I don't know what you would call it, um, but it's like a big, thick piece of ribbon with a bit of a tag on top. Um, and one of them said, I think it's a cherish, like cherish this moment, I guess. But it was black and blue, so I thought now's the best time to use that. Um, so yeah, and then the little like foam sticker didn't really have very much stick in it, so I just put a little bit of my double-sided tape and stuck that behind the tag, and I think that was a cute little touch. What happens next? I don't really remember. I think it looks like I'm trying to figure it out too. Um, I've got another set of chipboard stickers there. Oh, and there's these little, yeah, there's these little um, metallic gold hearts with black polka dots around them. And so I stick two of those down. They're pretty cute. Oh, I had to put a little plus sign down there if you see. I kind of put it on its side so it looks more of like an X, but... Just a cute little addition, and then I was gonna add some more washi tape, I think, but the colors I have are more, whoa, I bumped my tripod, so we're going for a little ride here. Um, I was going for more of a blue than like a mint color, and my other washi tape is very minty. So I'm looking at the chipboard again. Oh, and here we go. There's a big, like, title, I guess. It says Fun and Sun, so... I end up using that as my title, which I wanted to use that title too. I was like, oh, I'll write out fun and sun, um, or sun and fun, with letter stickers. And then I realized the reason I wanted to do that is because I'd seen that chipboard sticker. So I was like, oh, I'll just use that. And it's white and black, so I thought it was perfect. And I decided it needed a little bit of something to ground it. So I put a couple strips of leftover paper from the background matting and I stuck it on top of that to kind of give it a little bit of something so it's not just floating up there at the top and it's super cute. Um, I do want to go back and add a little bit of like the location or journaling or the date or something here. Um, I oftentimes don't do that in my process videos just because <clears throat> I have to go back and look at the details, you know, the date, the um, location and I look at my travel journals to see what I had to say about that day. So I end up going back 
later on to do that. Um, it's not that important to the video, so it's okay. And now I'm adding some of my Mr. Huey's Mist in this blue color. And I'm changing whatever I'm watching on my computer. I have my computer propped up above me so I can watch videos. And I actually might have been looking at the Pinterest picture too because I was like, oh, I haven't looked at it since I started. And then I was like, wow, this is very different than what I had planned. But, you know, it's, it's good to have inspiration, but it's good to not exactly copy things. I think it's important to have a little bit of your own touch added into it. Um, and now I go crazy with enamel dots. I put so many on this page, but um, it was fun. It felt good. So I used two shades of blue, kind of more of a light, and then like a light baby blue aqua kind of color, and then another one that's a dark with teal. And then I used some white ones, and I used some like dark gray black ones. So, just sticking down a million enamel dots everywhere you can go. I don't think you can really use too many, but might have gotten close. So yeah, these, this pack has more like neutrals, um, and I thought the black ones would be cute. The white ones kind of get lost on this paper, but I mean, I can see it here, so I guess not super lost, but I think the black stands out better. And if I would have had black mist, I think I would have added that because... I think that would be a nice touch, but I don't have any black mist. Maybe I'll have to get some. Enamel dots usually mean we're getting close to the end. I don't think that I end up adding anything else after that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this layout. It's one of my favorites. I really like the way this came out. I'm always pleasantly surprised when something new um, in terms of design comes out well the first time so it's pretty exciting but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions or video requests in a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video happy scrapping thanks guys